Hello learners, I am Mohini Arora, I am HOD Computer Science and today I will be discussing with you the operating system. You must have heard about this term operating system. It is a useful, a very important component of any computer that we work on. So after this session, you will be able to describe the features of Windows 10 operating system Various operating systems are available, but in this particular video, we will be covering Windows 10. You learn about various icons, their purposes, their usage, and then you will also learn how to work with Windows 10 operating system. You will be learning how to create, rename, delete, copy, move, and view a file or a folder. You will learn to change the system settings. You will also learn installing and uninstalling hardware and software. So let's begin with the session. First, we start with an operating system. What is an operating system? As I told you before, an operating system is a software which forms an interface between the hardware and a user. What happens is that a computer needs a platform to install various devices, to install various softwares that we work on and the operating system forms such a platform. Most popular operating system that is available today is the Windows and various versions as I told you before are available. We will be working with Windows 10. But before we actually start working with Windows 10, let us see the two modes of working of windows that are available. One is the tablet mode and other is the desktop mode. In tablet mode, it is suitable for touch screen tablets, your, even your mobile phones come under this. The start menu is filled with full screen, it is filled with colorful tiles. It fits for applications like listening to music, like watching movies, playing games and even on your mobile phones. The desktop mode on the other hand is suitable when a user wants to work on a desktop, for example to write a program or to prepare a document, a word document we use the desktop mode. So Windows 10 is the operating system by Microsoft which is available in both the modes, tablet mode also and desktop mode also. Let us discuss some of the important features of Windows 10. First feature being the Microsoft Edge, it is used for browsing the net. You must have heard about other browsers like Internet Explorer, Chrome, Mozilla. This particular browser is also used to surf uh, the net. You have a new feature called Cortana. This particular feature is just like an assistant. It helps you to search required data. It helps you to perform a particular task. Any query that you want your windows to answer back, you can give that query to Cortana and it will help you get solution to your problem. Windows 10 also offers easy backup and wireless networking facility. It has a very user friendly file explorer. We will be learning about this file explorer in detail. It is used to create and manage files and folders. Windows 10 is much, much more secure as compared to previous versions that have been launched by Microsoft. It has a task manager which enables, disables programs which are currently working. It has a OneDrive. This particular feature helps us to access files from anywhere and anytime using the internet. It is basically a virtual storage device. And we also have Microsoft Universal Apps. These apps run on both laptop and phone, which are using the Windows 10 operating system. So this slide now shows the Windows 10 lock screen. This lock screen is displayed as you start your computer. It shows the current system date, day and time. And you give your user ID, password, and you get the desktop screen which is somewhat similar to this screen. You might have a different background to it but more or less this is the screen that you get 
once you are logged in into Windows 10 and we call it as the desktop screen. Let's do now various elements of the desktop. You have the icons, various around 10 to 15 icons are shown on the screen that you are seeing now. These are graphical representations of files, folders and programs. To view any of the icons, to open any of the folder, you just double click on that particular icon and it opens up. Next element is the quick link menu. It contains the commonly used Windows apps. You can select on any of these apps to use them. Next is the taskbar. It is generally present at the bottom of the screen. Although it is movable, you can place it anywhere. It has the start button, it has the open programs, it also has the date and time option on one corner. So a, a very useful element of the desktop that helps me know what exactly I am working on currently. Then you have the notification area, it displays the icons of the task which run in the background and a clock which shows current system time and date. Generally the notification area and the clock are on the taskbar itself. So they are not separately marked as such. A very very useful feature of Windows 10 is getting help on Windows. You just type the keyword help in the search box and then click on get started to see the help window. Once the help window is opened, you can see the help window on your screen now. Once this window is opened, you can see the contents, you can see the index of contents, you can type the keywords so that you can get help on a particular application or on a particular feature of Windows 10 that you want to use. Every window operation that we have been seeing till now has got a start menu. So Windows 10 also has a start menu. It is present on the lower left corner of the screen. You can click this to lock the device, sign out, change the account settings or search file explorer or even choose any of the applications that you want to run and so on. So you can see the start menu coming up here. It is showing the application. It is showing the power button. You can select on any of the applications and you can do the work that you want to perform. Now, once we store data in a computer, we store on various devices. We have drives, we have external hard disks, we have internal hard disks, we have CDs, we have pen drives, various uh, secondary storage devices where we store data. So each disk drive in a computer is shown by an icon in this PC folder. This is the name of the folder which is given by Windows. To open this particular folder, you have various methods. Three methods are described here. First, you click Start, then File Explorer, then this PC. Or you type Computer in search box and then choose the this PC folder. Or press Windows plus X keys and click File Explorer and then choose this PC folder. Any of these methods you can use to view this particular folder. You can see in this screen now, you have the this PC folder. This PC folder shows all the drives, all the important folders that are there on your computer. You can double click on any of the drives or any of the folders to view the contents that are stored in that particular storage device. So this screen now shows the file explorer. The various components of file explorer are labeled here. You have the, like if you see here, you have the title bar. You have the ribbon, you have the search pane, you have the address bar, the quick access toolbar, you have the, uh, the various files, the, the uh, folders. Now this particular slide that we just saw showed you the various components of the file explorer. As I told you before, this file explorer is used to manage files and folders. That means to create, to rename, to modify, to copy and so on. So let's see how files and folders are managed in Windows 10 through file explorer. First, let's see how a folder is created. You right click on the blank area in the folder window on the desktop. A menu will appear as shown on the screen. 
select the new option and from the new option select the folder option. So, a folder will be shown and you can give the name to that particular folder and the folder is created. The next we talk about renaming a file or a folder. The folder that you want to rename just click on that folder, right click on that particular folder and if you right click you will have the rename option. If you left click then choose rename option from the home button and give the new name and press the enter key. So, any of these methods can be used to rename a particular file or a folder inside the file explorer. Next we have how to delete a file or a folder. Again two methods have been specified here. In the first method click the folder that you want to delete and from the home bar select the delete option. The other method is right click on the file or folder that you want to be renamed and then select the delete option. It should always be remembered that all the deleted files and folders are not permanently deleted there and then. They are basically stored in a folder called recycle bin. From there you can either restore them or permanently remove them. So, it helps us, it comes to our rescue when we have accidentally deleted a file. We can go to the recycle bin and we can restore it or if you feel that it is actually not needed, you can permanently remove it from the recycle bin. Next, we talk about copying a file or a folder. Select the file or folder that you want to copy. Now, uh, if you want to select only single file, then just selecting will do. If you have more than one file or folder, hold down the shift key and then press. Shift key is used when you want to select multiple files and folders that are placed consecutively, one after the other. And control key you use if you want to select file or folders that are non-consecutively placed. So, it is your wish, you go for single file folder selection, you go for multiple file folder selection, select them and then from the edit menu choose the copy option. Go to the drive or folder where you want to paste the files, where you want to copy the file and select the paste option from the edit menu. You will see that the file or folder is copied. Please note that when you copy, the file that is being copied remains at the source and at the destination also. A copy is created. The original location is not lost. The file remains there also and it gets copied to the new location also. But if I do not want to have a duplicate, I just want to uh, move a file from one place to another, then you select it first and instead of copy option that we did in the previous slide, we choose the cut option. Then we go to the target driver folder where you want to move the files and you choose the paste option. So, be careful about the difference between copying and moving a file. You copy a file when you want to keep the duplicate, you move a file when you do not want to keep the duplicate. I want to view the file contents, I want to view the folder contents, I simply double click on that particular file or folder that I want to view. I can see all the contents, whatever subfolders, whatever files are there inside a folder or I can see the contents of the file by simply double clicking on it. Now, once you have uh, installed an operating system, it comes with the factory settings, the basic settings that are given to you by the manufacturer. You might like to change those settings. You should know the basic method to change simple settings of your computer because you might require them off and on. And to change the system settings, you have to always go to the settings screen. Your slide here shows you the settings screen. To go to the settings screen, you simply click settings option from the start menu. You get the screen as shown here. You have various options here like uh, installing the hardware, personalizing and so on. We will be covering some of them right now in this video. For example, I would like to change the background of my desktop. 
you have a picture you want to place your own own picture at the background so to do that you uh, click settings option from the uh, start menu and you choose the personalization tab when you choose this particular tab you get the screen as right now you have on this particular slide you'll have a background list box select the picture browse the picture or you want to give a blank color or you want to show a slide show whatever select from this particular list box browse for the file and you will see the whatever you choose the preview will be available in the preview window being shown here and when you close this particular window you say okay you say apply you close and you see that that particular background will be applied to your desktop you have brought a new printer you want to install it you brought a new scanner you want to install it so all these are hardware devices generally nowadays hardware are plug and play that means you just place uh, attach it to your computer through the usb port or the whatever the port the the hardware is having and it plays on its own but if it doesn't happen then you need to install the device driver of that particular hardware to do so you again open the settings screen by clicking on the start menu and you choose the devices option after choosing the devices option you choose add a device option so after choosing add a device you can see the screen that is coming here choose the device that you want to install give the path of the driver it is in a cd or it has to be downloaded from the net whatever is your source of the driver give that particular driver it will start installing and once it is installed it will give you the the message also that installation complete or installation done successfully so you have installed a driver now you feel that i don't need a particular device then i should uninstall it because if you don't uninstall it that driver is taking the memory of your computer so you should also know how to uninstall a particular hardware just physically removing it does not solve the purpose you should always uninstall it and then physically remove it to uninstall again open the uh, file explorer go to the uh, this pc folder and select manage device driver option choose the category where the device is listed whether it is a printer or a scanner or a camera or an sd card whatever you have right click on the name of the device that you want to remove and then choose uninstall it will ask for the confirmation whether you really want to uninstall the device if you say okay it will start the uninstallation process and once it is over it gives you the message also that the uninstallation process is complete and the device is no longer available along with your computer so this is what is about uninstalling the hardware that is attached to your computer see this is the screen that is showing it is uh, showing the option uninstall choose the uninstall option uh, and that particular process of uninstallation will start always remember that once you have uninstalled a particular device sh you should always restart the computer shut down the computer then remove the device and then restart it then only the all the settings will be done properly in your computer you should never uh, leave the computer just like that after doing any installation or uninstallation process both the things should follow with the restarting of the computer you must have heard about apps as i discussed in the features also windows 10 has various apps that can be installed some apps are free some apps you have to purchase so click on the particular app tile to show the description of that particular app what uh, that app contains click on the install button the window shows a message that you know the app is getting installed after it is installed it displays a message that the installation is complete see it this particular screen shows you various apps you must be seeing somewhere the calculator app is there which is installed the upper part of the screen shows you the installed apps 
the lower part of the screen shows the apps that are available some might be free some might be paid you can choose any of the apps and start the installation process once an app is installed then you will not see in the install section that will be seen in the, uh, the already installed section that is the upper portion of your app screen you have installed an app you want to uninstall it open the start menu right click on the app that you want to remove and then click the uninstall button the uninstallation process will be done and the app will be removed and do remember to restart the computer after installing or uninstalling see it is giving you the uninstall option i want to delete a particular app i just right click and i choose the uninstall option and the app will be deleted other than apps you might need to install certain softwares say suppose you are into photo editing you want to install photoshop or you want to install some game or some particular application that might be available on a cd or a dvd or that might be needed to be downloaded from the internet say you are purchasing an antivirus software that can be downloaded from the internet so either of the methods can be used to install a software if you are installing from a cd insert the cd drive generally the application cds are auto run cds the installation will process will start automatically but if it doesn't start then you need to follow the process that is given on the screen and click the install button to start the process and after that it, it must be a wizard means a step by step instructions will be given to you on the screen follow the on screen instruction and complete the installation if you have a software that has to be downloaded from the internet and then installed then first download after that double click on the setup file every uh, software that you download must be having a setup file double click on that setup file and the installation process will start follow the instructions and the process will be complete it gives you a message when the process is complete we have installed a software we should know how to uninstall a particular software also you have to go to the setting screen choose apps and features option and click uninstall but the simpler method is right click and choose uninstall it will ask you for a confirmation whether you want to really uninstall say okay and the installation process will be complete the screen here shows you the uninstall option that you have if you right click on a particular application or app that you want to uninstall like this screen is giving you the method to uninstall this brings us to the end of this video this video taught you about various features of windows 10 why windows 10 is becoming popular day by day what all extra features it offers you also learned how to work with windows 10 operating system you learned to create rename delete copy move and view a particular file or a folder you learned how to change system settings and you also learned how to install and uninstall a particular hardware or a software i hope you benefited from this session and it has increased the uh, the computer proficiency of you people thank you so much प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने हम अपना दीपक स्वयं बने हम अपना रास्ता स्वयं चुने
जीवन ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने भी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय के लोच से युक्त हो कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय के लोच से युक्त हो मित्रों हम पढ़े और जागे ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने हम अपना दीपक स्वयं बने हम अपना रास्ता स्वयं चुने जीवन ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने